Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am your host, The Real Brian Blaze Gibbs. This is my story. This is my ministry. This is my platform. I'm talking about the good. I'm talking about the bad. I'm talking about the ugly. Hey, but today what I'm talking about is this, man. You know what? I don't know what it is about this individual. Basically right now is what? But a few weeks ago, he said he don't care what I say, what I do. He's not going to mention me no more. He's not going to talk about me no more. See, you know I'm saying? Crab, fake jewelry wearing, fake everything. Franklin said he's not going to mention me no more. And what did he do? In a couple weeks, he didn't keep his word. Here it is right now. A lot of times people try to say they got principles and morals. And they stand on their word. Their word is their bond. If they word ain't no good, that means they as a man ain't no good. Here it is, Mr. Ed. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Ed say that he's not going to say anything about me no more. And what happened? Right now was within two weeks. You on there. Hey, America. You know, right now is, come on, bro. What is that all about, man? Get off that nonsense. Get off that high horse, man. Accept reality for what it is. You talk about success. What the hell is success to you? I guess everybody have a definition, defin, a different definition of success. Your success and my success is totally different. You talk about your success. How in the hell can you be successful? Living. You know what I'm saying right now? Residing. You know, in Brownsville. But you're successful. Here it is what? You're 50 something years old. You're telling me that right now what I should do is... You know, right now is get a gun and kill myself. Why don't you come and do it for me? You know what I'm saying? You know, being that you're so big and bad. Being that you're so big and bad. Why don't you come and do it for me? Tough guy. And then, like you said, you mentioned my brother. You know what? Keep his name out of your mouth, man. Whatever me and him going through, that's between me and him. He saved me. He couldn't even save his damn self. Right now, Wiz, guess what? When I lied, Justin and want to hit him, when they want to rob him and kill him, he couldn't stop that. But who stopped that? Not him. When Superman them jump him on Rikers Island C95 and they came to him later on. Yo, we didn't know Glaze was your brother. He couldn't stop that. But they came to him later and say, look, man, we apologize because Glaze was your brother. So when you talking about right now, when, 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 hold on, what's his name? Sharif. When Sharif robbed them in Fort Greene, right now is guess what? Here it is. Get away from that nonsense that he's saving me. He helping me. He can't help his damn self. So how can he help me? Get your facts straight, man. And understand the history of who's who and what's what. Like I say, I do not live like that no more. I'm not on it like that no more. But once again, guess what? Everybody knew who I once was. And to me, with that being said, stop saying what you're not going to do. Well, I'm not going to talk about you no more. But then again, you turn around within two weeks and you, what you got? My name in your mouth. And I'm, nah, nah, nah. Get off my wee wee. You caught you. Hi, I am Mr. Ed. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, man. You know what? Like I told you right now is, to me, you are wreck. And that's all you are. Nothing more, nothing less. But folks, listen. I want you to hear him in his own word. And then go to this platform today. He dropped a piece of who he's talking about. Can't help it. You know, like he said. Hey, I know you was sensational. Sensational for what? You know, you talk my baby Sam. He's this, he's that. Niggas, we destroy our own community. We don't get no points. We don't get no credit for that. But that's what we, we celebrate criminality, destruction. But we don't celebrate people that did it right the first time. We don't celebrate these people that's out there that work all their life, nine to five. We don't look at them as heroes. And I'm only going by your words. But you want to talk about the late, great baby Sam. What's so great about him? He did 30-something damn years, you know what I'm saying, in jail, came home broke. Did you say, here, baby Sam, here's a 401k plan. Here's something. No, you can't say here's something because you don't have nothing. So automatically, you can't wait till your story come out. Good luck with that. Like I say, anybody, everybody want their story told. But you know how hard that is? I don't give a damn how good the story was. What are you going to say? Well, what he did... It's not what he did 30 something years ago. What is he doing now? How many people life are he affecting and saving now? Nobody want to hear that stuff. You got that type of story throughout the whole world. It is this snowfall. So, but you want to praise, 
You know, he did this, he that. Wait till his story come out. Good luck. His story been out. Okay? They did it back in what? 89, 90. With who? Mario Van Peeble. Um, what's his name? Courtney Vance. And Morris Chestnut. Come on. What are they going to do now? You know what I'm saying? It's not like he got out and right now he's helping people. He's saving the world. He got this non-profit organization going on. It's not like that. But he, 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 he hit this clown. Uh -huh. He stood the test of motherfucking time. That's what it is. You know, it, take, it, 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 it was rough. Ain't nothing came easy, boy. You best to believe that. This is the last video. You can mention my name all day. Look, man. It's not going to happen. Ain't, I ain't going to never be fake. Ain't nothing fake about me. Ain't nothing I have fake. I'm the most realest New York and legend of all time, Blaze. Okay? We sure don't tell. If those that's outside looking at me, man, look, man. Follow me on C. Franklin, 180 underscore. Okay? Look at this guy. He's the most realist of all time. He's a legend. How the hell are you a legend? What the hell are you accomplished to make you a legend? You know, it's nothing fake about you. So why you wearing a ton of fake jewelry? Why you wearing fake clothes? You want to be designer like Louis, Gucci, Fendi. All the stuff you got on is fake. So once again, you the real, real people don't wear fake things. You know, but the difference is right now you never had. So you trying to boost yourself, make yourself out. Why are you putting on this bootleg stuff like nobody know? Why are you putting on this fake jewelry? Nobody know. Man, listen, man. Even Stevie Wonder can see that you are more phonier than a $3 bill. Hey, folks, listen. This is the real Brian Clay Gibbs. There's no shortcut in life or whatever. Crime doesn't pay. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Share. One love. They kicked me off like a salad. So we do not want this brother on like a salad because he's a menace. Right, because right. to me, I'm, I, I, you know, back then, I wanted, I'm on like a salad. I don't got no bail. I, I'm facing two murders, kidnapping, weapon charges. Guess what happened? Now I'm a menace. Because he... Brian had uh, associated himself with probably the most ruthless and notorious cocaine uh, crack enterprise in the city, uh, that being Howard Happy Mason and Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols. NYPD rookie police officer was murdered, executioner style. And as I'm listening to that, I'm like, whoa. You actually dealt with Brian Glaze Williams, huh? I dealt with him years ago, back in the uh, 80s, hey, well, early well, 90s. I was with where he was arrested by my partner back in those days for several murders himself. That bad. I was given to me by a police officer in New York called Matt Byrne, whose son was gunned down by these drug dealers up there in New York City. Blaze was probably within the top 10 people in, in the city, but I'm going to say that he was probably one of the, the top two or three in Brooklyn. You know, uh, drug dealers. Um, and, and control the drug organization. And you know what I did? When I got the phone, I told my man, the next time we see him, he's out of here. Yeah. Less than 12 hours, that nigga was dead. Yeah, Is this the that? second person you murdered? Mm, no. Because, like, right now, if you're going by the timeline, by that yeah. time, there's a few more before him. You know, I heard so many good things about you. What I really like is, uh, I know you're a tough guy. And I've known that for quite a while and you changed your life and you're coming around and, you, and you're right. We're from New York. Uh, we're New Yorkers. No matter what color you are, no matter what religion you are, no matter what you are, you know, we're New Yorkers. Well, he was a, a drug kingpin himself. He was a drug lord himself back in those days. And uh, he operated out of Brooklyn, East New York. And, uh, you know, he committed a lot of uh, violent acts himself. So if anybody knows the streets, I mean, he knows the streets. Mm -hmm. Who tut, tutting them? Yeah, you gotta yeah. worry about them guys. But we only had to worry about those guys and Vanderveer and stuff. You know, we all knew um, Glaze and Tut and all those guys. Yeah, yeah. I know Glaze, Supreme Team. What up, Glaze? You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, Inside the Mind of a Killer, the Brian Glaze Gibbs story. Okay, I'll check that out. 